Hello friends, let us now learn some important points about maternal and child health indicators. In maternal and child health indicators, first we have infant mortality rate. Infant mortality rate includes number of infant deaths in a given year by total number of live births in the same year into 100. That means among all the children who were born, the number of infants who were dead were taken into account in infant mortality rate. Infant mortality rate is the second best indicator of socio-economic development. But what is the best indicator? Best indicator of socio-economic development is under 5 mortality rate. Infant mortality rate is the most important indicator of health status of community uh, level of living. It is also effective for uh, MCH ser services in general. It, will, it is also an indicator of MCH services in general. This infant mortality rate is the best predictor of state failure. The goal for infant mortal sorry uh, the goal for infant mortality rate is present in two policies. One, the goal for infant mortality rate in national population policy 2000 is 30 per low thousand low birth weight. National population policy 2000 is 30 per thousand low births. The th sorry, per thousand live births, the per thousand live births by 2010. And goal in national health policy 2002 is also 30 per thousand live births by 2010. Infant mortality rate is 34 live births per thousand, sorry, 34 per thousand live births. That means in every thousand live births, 34 infants have been, uh, have, have been died. Okay. Then, what are the factors which are affecting infant mortality rate? The factors which are affecting infant mortality rate are, one, we have biological factors. That includes infant mortality rate depends upon the birth weight. Infant mortality weight is more in extremes of birth weight. That is, if the birth weight is less than 2.5 kg and more than 4 kg. Similarly, infant mortality rate is more if the age of the mother is less than 19 years or more than 35 years. Then we have birth order. Infant mortality rate is highest if the birth order is 1 and it is least if the birth order is 2 and it is increased from birth order 3. Infant mortality rate is over more increased when birth order is 3. It is more if it is 4 like that. Birth spacing is inversely proportional to infant mortality rate. Birth spacing will help in have in the uh, couple to have less smaller children as a result they can take care of the baby very well because the other child will be a little grown up like five years six years so births more the birth spacing lesser is the infant mortality rate then in multiple births infant mortality rate increases infant mortality rate increases in higher family size and in higher fertility which is in multiple births obviously Economic factors, like if in so low socioeconomic factors due to decreased less amount of food, less amount of money, so many things account for low infant high infant mortality rate in low socioeconomic status individuals. Culture and social factors, one is breastfeeding. Infant mortality rate is highest if we have started early weaning or in bottle fed infants or in those infants who are living in poor socio-economic status because in these infants um, who have weaned early or in bottle fed infants in them the nutrition that the child the mother's milk uh, the, the high nutritious content in mo mother's milk is not given to the baby and as a result that means it is replaced by other foods and as a result, the child may suffer from malnutrition, which may be, which is one of the cause for infant mortality rate. Then, infant mortality rate also varies based on the religion and caste of the fish of the people. Then, uh, if there are early marriages, then there is higher infant mortality rate. That is, younger couple, it is difficult for them to handle so. 
it may be difficult for them to ha handle so there can be increased infant mortality rate other factors like sex of child that is infant mortality rate in girls is more when compared to boys quality of mothering is good then infant mortality rate is low if quality of health care is good then infant mortality rate is low because even if the child suffers from any disease the uh, if health care facilities are good then the doctors can try to cure it with the tap with the medicines then maternal education is high that is high literacy rate then infant mortality rate is low because she know when to uh, go to a doctor and when to take proper care in bro broken families infant mortality rate is higher and in illegitimacy the infant mortality rate is higher because uh, they have the parents have even more uh, extra things which they have to handle along with the baby so they, that might lead to neglect of the baby leading to higher infant mortality rate untrained die then higher infant mortality rate and in bad sanitation there is higher infant mortality rate due to increased chances of infection so this is about infant mortality rate thank you for watching my lecture in the next class we will learn about the other maternal and child health indicators thank you